Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dressage by the Sea, day two, daily wrap. Another huge day of competition has taken place here, and joining me on the panel, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Mr. Brett Parbury and Miss Steph Davies. Guys, welcome to day two, another huge day of competition. It's been amazing. It's certainly been amazing. We've had action all day here in the, uh, in the covered arena, and the special Grand Prix was just incredible. Pubs, what's your uh, feel on day two? Day two, again, great sport. The, everyone rode really well. I'm, I'm seeing the horses relax a lot more in this environment and we're getting better work from them. Uh, the Grand Prix Special is always a, a very good event. It's, uh, it's probably the, the, the tougher test of the Grand Prix uh, level and, uh, and it's good for the crowd. And it was great to see a big crowd today watching the Grand Prix Special. It's actually been impressive because uh, a lot of our marketing for the, the show has been around Dorothy Schneider on Thursday and then next weekend. But we've actually had great crowds yesterday. I think we had about 750, over 1,000 through the gate today, which is wonderful. Oh, look, it's wonderful for dressage for, for, to get that many people through the gate and uh, on a Sunday and Bolly Point is fantastic and you know that's the beauty of Wollinga. To me the highlight was going down to the Grand Prix arena and watching the young horse classes. I have a little special place in my heart, the horse that maybe you don't have such a special spot with uh, Quincy B. He was uh, the one that was the undoing of you but Jaden's now riding. When he came back here I got to sit on him and to see an 89 in the six year old was just amazing. Oh absolutely. He, he's a, a wonderful horse, like very athletic, uh, Bought by Lauren George from Europe, then purchased by Terry Snow. Um, four rides into his and I, his and my career, he decided that I should probably, was not the rider for him, <laughs> and uh, decided to give me a little uh, reminder that we're the occupational hazards of being a professional rider. But um, great to see Jaden. Jaden produced the horse. It's very good to see Jaden actually reaping the benefits and getting such a great score. Steph, what was your highlight for the day? Well, Tim, I just loved the Grand Prix special. I also loved seeing the young riders come out and do their more difficult tests today. Um, and particularly around the grounds, there was a, a great buzz around the covered arena. And I loved seeing so many spectators on their judging app. I thought that was a really cool uh, initiative and, and um, fun to follow along throughout the day. Well, if you weren't here, of course, you can come down tomorrow. The gates are open. Thursday, Dorothy Schneider. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, right through next week. If you haven't been here, our guys went out with the cameras and caught a few of the highlights from around the park. One of the features of uh, our event here at Wollinga is the international judges that we bring out. Anne Gribben was cut flying from Orlando. Her plane had a uh, malfunction. She had to be delayed. She had to spend 24 hours in LA. She got here last night and the first class she judged this morning was the CDN and guys, a great competition. Certainly was, certainly was. A great variety of horses as well. Um, as, as the riders. Mary uh, Nishki, uh, sorry, Mary Warren, so many Marys in the placings tonight, picking up uh, second place. And Brett, this young lady, she was here on our daily wrap yesterday. She's here again today. She was on it last year, powerhouse. Yeah, she is. Mary Warren, she did well last year as well at the same show. Um, young rider, um, very, very determined. I love watching her train and compete, very focused. Super supportive family. I mean, you need the whole crew to do this job. And um, she's bringing on these horses herself as well. They're not bought horses. They're horses that she's bought on and trained herself. Linda Foster, Steph, and Neverfields at Samaro. A great horse. Another lovely test. What were your thoughts? This horse has just such a lovely frame and presence in the arena. So I loved watching, uh, watching him. And, and Linda 
was just on the job and super accurate the entire time. Pubs, uh, Linda, always a fierce competitor as well. Yeah, Linda's been around a long time and, and is very experienced and just noted they're both, both first and second trained by Robert Schmerglatt, who uh, has made his way back to Australia after spending many years in Europe. So it's great to see Robert coaching and getting some uh, first and second. Really uh, actually disappointing for Robbie's good horse went lame just before the show, but he was so determined to come down here and always have love having a bit of banter with Rob. Sometimes I don't know if he quite has got back into the Aussie slang, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's good fun and we, we love, we always pick on the ones we like. So Robert, we, uh, we pick on you only because we like you. <laughs> now, one of the features I think we would all agree around here is the architecture. It is just phenomenal. Whether it's uh, the concrete beams driving up to the stables, the new show jumping arena, that 10 metre retaining wall, and all the different buildings that have been built here, they're a standout, aren't they? Yeah, that they are. I mean, uh, Cox Architecture, as we know, uh, this is all in their head. I don't know how, between Terry and Cox and all the meetings, they come up with this. It's just absolutely wonderful. Um, the bit I like the most, I think, when I think about the architecture of, of this property is you can, you can stand up at the lookout and not even see it. And it looks like it just moulds into that ridge line that comes down along through here down to, to um, Lake Wollinga. And uh, so to have such an enormous complex that moulds into the countryside, it's just fabulous. Well, one of my roles here at Wollinga is the sponsorship team and uh, Cox Architect have been a long sponsor of us here at Wollinga. to Noogie, to Grant, to Alex, to Chris. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for your ongoing support of what we're doing here with our events. And let me tell you, whether you're designing a new office space or a uh, house or you want that bespoke property, talk to the team at Cox because they are seriously the best in the business. Well, the best in the business guys stepped up today when we came into the Grand Prix CDI special. A great test. I always think it's a, a good spectator test to watch and I enjoyed it today. A great competition. Yeah, that's right, Tim. It was great to have Brett back in the commentary box with me. I just couldn't believe the speed of the test. It was so fast and, and the, the riders just had no break, did they, from start to finish? As a rider, Brett, how fit and strong do you have to be to get to that point? Well, Look, if the horse is in front of you and doing the work for you, it can actually be quite easy, but the, that's the perfect world, right? So the, the reality is you have to carry them through some of it <laughs> and uh, you do have to be quite fit. And certainly cardiovascular fitness, strength, yes and no. Sometimes there's things that the horses don't like and you have to help them through that. But the Grand Prix Special is my favourite. I like that. Um, um, for some reason, I don't know. It's, it's always the event that determines who's in the final at the World Games and the, and the Olympics. You know, you've got the Grand Prix, then you've got the Grand Prix Special. It's also the event that, that it's slightly more complicated, but the horses get better during the test. Mm -hmm. And we saw that today. Yeah. Well, we saw uh, Melissa Galloway in second place. And then this uh, lady here, Mary Hanna, she's unstoppable, isn't she? She has come back from Europe having, after a long stint in Europe, um, has come back with a vengeance, being trained by Patrick Kittle. She was trained by Patrick Kittle in Europe. She's now trained by Patrick via the internet, of all things. And she hasn't missed a beat. I just spent a little time with her uh, this, this afternoon, and she has not missed a beat. And I'm so happy for her. Mary's been a stalwart of Australian dressage. And uh, Melissa Galloway as well here, our second place getter. Um, super strong competitor. Yeah, Melissa came with quite a reputation. Everyone said, you've got to see Melissa and this horse. It's fa they're fabulous. And I agree, great combination. I think I heard today that Melissa broke her personal best by 5% here. And that's what we like to see at Willinga. We like to see people achieving personal bests. And, and um, I remember going back a few years when we had top eight, over 70% in the Grand Prix Freestyle. Um, Willinga Park brings out the best in everyone, doesn't it? It most certainly does. Well, the man who's allowed us to do all that we do here at Willinga Park, 
his passion has not wavered for one moment since he started on this dream of producing elite equine horses and riders is Mr Terry Snow and I had the privilege of catching up with him earlier today. Dressage by the Sea is our longest running competition here at Wollinga Park. Terry Snow's been passionate about dressage for many years and it's great to have him join me here today. Morning Terry. Morning Tim, nice to be here. This is the fourth time we've run Dressage by the Sea. The second time it's been back to back. It's great to see the park alive and full of people again. Yes, it's uh, certainly been well received, hasn't it? Um, uh, we've had uh, people come from uh, New Zealand, uh, Queensland, um, Victoria and um, all over Australia and they've come here for which must be a festival for them because it's two weekends apart and they're able to attend the forum that we've organised here to discuss horse care and horse preparation. We're very lucky that we've got uh, Dorothy Schneider coming out from Germany uh, and she's going to give a master class uh, so uh, all in all this weekend uh, will be a, uh, a great festival. It's a huge undertaking. We run the only four-star event in the Southern Hemisphere. I talked to you during the year and said, Terry, we could probably just run one three-star and one four-star. And you said, no, Tim, we want to do the back-to-back four-star to help those riders increase that ranking. You've been very passionate about putting our riders equal with the world stage. Well, we've given them every opportunity. Um, I think uh, we keep this program up uh, over a period of time and other uh, dressage centres in Australia pull their weight and run these interesting carnivals that uh, will add, uh, riders will very substantially uh, improve their scores and, uh, and uh, success rate in overseas competition. You and I live here all the time and we sort of see each phase of Wollinga Park rolling out piece by piece but as people drive in in a 12 month period there's been a huge amount happen here in the last 12 months hasn't there? Uh, they tell me that. Uh, I think that uh, we're pretty slow really, but uh, done uh, a lot of work. We're building a new uh, grandstand for um, uh, and arena, uh, probably the biggest uh, auto surface in the, in the world, uh, which will be operational in mid-year. A thousand seat covered grandstand uh, with a VIP section. That will permit us to not only have show jumping, but dressage and eventing conducted on that arena. The camp draft facility is, uh, as you know Tim, uh, we've extended the uh, seating and grandstand down there uh, above the yards and uh, there's nowhere in Australia that camp drafts have such uh, uh, facilities as they have here. Of course probably the biggest news uh, for the question folk is uh, our new uh, eventing course. So fingers crossed uh, we'll have that operational in October and that's going to be uh, truly very, very exciting and uh, I'm very passionate about uh, eventing as uh, most horse riders are. Terry, it's no uh, denying that uh, December last year we all held our breath when the Curran fire started. It, it wasn't able to be controlled, it actually took serious rain to, to put it out. Just careful management here at Wollinga meant that uh, we've gone pretty unscathed and uh, have come through the other side of the fire, you know, with relatively minor damage compared to a lot of other parts here on the south coast. Uh, it's all in the preparation. We've been preparing for this for about six or seven years. If fire had come through here, it would have gone through the community. Um, we have uh, regular consultations with our bushfire consultant, Mr Chad Percival, our general manager here, and his team of young men uh, all did a wonderful job and uh, I congratulate them heartily. 55,000 people evacuated off the south coast, the largest evacuation since the wartime here in Australia that's ever occurred. Now to bring back, inject a thousand people into our local community, it's sort of heartening as well to see all the shops so grateful for what we're doing up here. Yes, I don't think they can quite keep up with, uh, uh, with the demand that we have, but uh, yes, it, it's, it's a very uh, encouraging to see um, uh, events like this take place and uh, get back to a little bit of normality and the threat of the fire but uh, that's now behind us and uh, uh, everyone's welcome and uh, we, um, I know that the community would love to see our visitors come back and uh, we'd like to see uh, people come and join us at the park. Well Terry thanks so much for joining us here today as always it's a pleasure chatting. Good Tim and thank you and uh, as you say uh, teamwork makes a dream work. 
I love when Terry said today, I just don't think they're building it quick enough. You drive in the gates and uh, let me tell you, as you sit in the office with him each and every day, he is in there. He knows exactly where the pipes are going, where the conduit's being laid, why it's being laid that day and not the day before. He's all over it and just loves it. A lot of fun. We love working for him. Very passionate. And very pleased to be part of his team. Well, the Grand Prix under 25 today, it was a Mary lineup there. Something about Mary at this show, Mary Nishki and Utopian Cardinal taking out uh, second place in a hotly contested under 25 class. Yeah, I mean, Mary Nishki, Mary Warren, Mary Hannah. <laughs> um, it gets quite confusing, but Mary Nishki here, this is a horse they bought from Heath Ryan. Heath Ryan produced this horse and, and uh, Mary trains with Heath. Um, these guys were caught up in the South Australian bushfires as well, so they've had little preparation, but um, Mary, with her father Ian, have made the journey and looked very good. Not too much, Steph, that us show jumpers could learn from the dressage riders, but this under-25 <laughs> division is actually one I think we could be putting into show jumping. It's a great stepping stone for them, isn't it? Yeah, exactly right, Tim. What I love about, um, about this age bracket is you've got the, the riders coming out of the young rider division, but there's a lot of crossover with the open... Grand Prix division. We're just watching Mary Warren here now. I love this story about Mary. She's such a bold rider and just in two days of watching her, you can see this fierceness when she just attacks that centre line. But I loved the story about the family breeding the horses. Um, there's a similar sort of very strong style about them um, and, and the whole story is really beautiful. And this horse, Brett, uh, a lovely horse to watch. Yeah, Mary and... Um Ramirez, uh, yeah, they won the Sydney CDI a few years ago, and and really set the place on fire. And I was like, wow, where are these guys come from? Well, Mary now is one of the dominant riders on the Australian scene, so it's great to see her come through. And again, with horses produced by herself and bred by the family. So, like I say, a great story. Well, Steph, uh, you're leaving us tomorrow. You've got to go back to work. Thank you so much for being here for the last two days. We've absolutely loved having you. Make sure you join in and keep watching from afar. Thanks, Tim. I'll be on the live stream at work tomorrow, I'm sure. I have my, I have my several screens set up. It's been an absolute pleasure coming down. Thank you very much for having me. And I, I, lo I love coming to Alinga Park at any opportunity. Pubs tomorrow, freestyle day. It's going to be uh, exciting. First of the uh, two freestyle days. We look forward to it. Well, the freestyle day is always great. It's the one the crowd love to see. It's the one we love to see. It shows the expression and the artistic talents of all the riders and the horses. And, and so I, we love freestyle time. Well, if you've got the Monday Blues in the office tomorrow, tune in. Yesterday, over 5,000 people tuned in to watch our dressage throughout the day. That's a record for dressage by the sea. Can we tip it tomorrow? It's a Monday. The boss doesn't care. Put an earphone in, watch it and enjoy it. We'll be live from 8 o'clock. But right now, Pubs, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Steph, have a safe journey home. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much, Tim. And uh, we look forward to catching you here tomorrow from 8 o'clock at Dressage by the Sea.